you know, you've had a chance to see the TrueView technology firsthand. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience with it? Well, I think the first time you ever see it, when I saw it and we used it on air, it's, uh, it kind of wows you. The first time you're kind of blown away because your whole life, you're kind of watching this 2D version of television. And then all of a sudden you look at the screen and you're like, whoa, this is different. And you don't even know you're looking at this 3D thing that's 360 degrees. And, you know, I told Brian earlier, I was like, who's the guy that's got that camera that's just, you know, controlling this thing that's moving around so much? And then you kind of get into the detail of it and it's just, it's really revolutionary what they've done and pretty special. So, okay, that's, that's great. That's how it kind of feels. So, so maybe if we could play a clip uh, we captured from one of the games this season and I'd like you to walk us through it and, and just kind of tell me your thoughts about what it's like to both be on the field and, and, and see what they see out there. Well, in this play, you're gonna see Joe Flacco from the Ravens and he's got, as you can tell, the pocket right here, he's looking. He's got a cornerback right there in his vision, and he's got the safety. He's got to fit this ball right in there. Don't throw this, Joe. Don't throw. Oh, oh touchdown. Good job, Joe. But you know what? There's not any other technology that would show you how tight this throw was and how difficult it was for Joe. This allowed you as a viewer to really go right there and be Joe Flacco, and you could be like, I can't believe he's making this throw. There's no window there. You get to appreciate the ability of that guy at that moment. At the same time, You'll be able to go back and nitpick and be like, not a good job, Joe, if you're throwing it to the other guy. Uh, luckily, that, that was a good example there. So <laughs> I think this audience would be interested a little bit in understanding how exactly the mobile eye technology can lead us to a safer future with fewer accents and, and how you really see it uh, playing out. Well, it starts with sensors. We have uh, cameras, about 12 cameras around the car. We have a cocoon of radars and, and laser scanners, uh, LADARs, all fed into high-performance computing system on chips from Mobileye and an Atom architecture by, by Intel. So when we talk about cameras, we have three cameras in front, three different fields of view, which gives you about 180 degrees in, in total and, and very high resolution. So you can see about 250, 300 meters range. We have cameras, wing cameras and side cameras that give you half a sphere on the side, a rear camera, and then four parking cameras, altogether 12 cameras, and then radars and, and ladders for uh, redundancy. And I think we'll say bye-bye to, to Yaman. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? We thought CES is the perfect opportunity to bring Volocopter to North America for the very first time. So check it out. The Volocopter is an entirely novel type of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It offers unprecedented levels of safety, is extremely simple to fly, quiet, and when running on its batteries, emission-free. 